Okay. Uh, hi, welcome to Informal Solutions. Uh, in our previous video, we looked at um, an example as far as the, the derivative of uh, products of functions are concerned, and we dwelt heavily on the Leibniz uh, theorem as far as uh, the nth derivative of product of functions is concerned. And I promise give you another example. So you are warmly welcome. Now let's look at example two uh, in this aspect. So we want to find um, the hundred derivative. So we find in the hundred derivative uh, of so hundred derivative of s q sin s. So hundred derivative of s q sin s. We have this there. Okay, so you say initially you say hundred derivatives. So how can I be differentiating hundred times? Okay, as I said, but it's, it's not a, a big deal. Uh, well, so we say that the hundred derivative of this particular product of functions uh, will be equal to with the theorem by the needs helps us to state that this becomes the sum where r begins from zero and ends at so we are looking at the hundred derivative and hundred combination r then the r derivative of uh, the function the first one here s cube then multiply by n minus r uh, derivative of the next function. Okay. So here again, you need to recall from the previous video that whoever to come up with the nth derivative of sin s. So if you are given sin s, you are asked to differentiate n times. What will it turn out to be? And we are able to state that it will be sin s plus n pi over 2. So we put the nth derivative there. Now this is very instructive because if you look at this, anytime you add this to this, you must get the, the, the number of times you are supposed to differentiate. So this, this uses n, and uh, our n at this moment you can sort of it. So as you move on, you realize that anytime you add the powers, you are getting to the number of differentials you are supposed to find. Look, so let's move on. So let's move on. Starting with uh, r being 0, it means that we we'll have 100 combination 0. And um, so this becomes 0. If this is 0, it means that we are not differentiating it on 0 derivative. So it's still like that. We we'll just write it as it is s q. Let's come here. If r is 0, it means that n is 100. So differentiating this one 100 times means substituting 100 for n. So you put 100 here, multiply by power by 2 gives us 50 pi. So we're going to have multiplied by, um, so just write sign s here, it's multiplying already. So sign x plus 50 pi. So we have finished the first derivative. Let's move on. Second, it means r becomes 1. If r is 1, so you're going to have 100 combination 1. So you're going to have 100 combination 1. When we come here, when we differentiate this, is it r becomes 1, so first derivative. So first differential here gives us uh, 3x squared. So multiply by 3x squared. There we go. Because r is 1, we we'll subtract 1 from 100, and that will be giving us uh, 99, so we put 99 here. So 99 times pi over 2. So we'll be getting uh, this we multiply by sign x plus 49.5 pi. So 49.5 pi and plus, so let's continue. That's just the second. 
So let's move to the third. So R is now 2. R is 2. It means that I'm going to have 100 combination 2. And this place is 2. It means that I will differentiate this particular function twice. Differentiating it once gives us this. If we continue the derivative once more, it will give us 6x. So multiply by 6x. And because r is 2, we subtract it from 100, and we are now left with 98, which we will place here. So 98 times pi over 2 will result in we have sine x, then plus 49 pi. Plus, so here our r was 2. Moving on, our r becomes our 3. So, we have 100 combination 3. So add being 3 means we we'll differentiate this one 3 times. But the second derivative gives us, give us this. So if we differentiate again, we we'll have 6. So this multiplied by 6. Then add being 3 means that to put 3 here, subtract it from 9, uh, 100, I will have 97. Put 97 here, it will give us sine, um, where are we? Yes, so we have sine x plus 48.5 pi. Plus, so our r is 4. So we add this 4, we have 100 combination 4, then we can get add this 4. So we differentiate this one 4 times. But after differentiating 3 times, we have a constant 6. So if we differentiate this, it gives us 0. And when we use the multiplier, whatever we're going to get, everything from here becomes 0. So we end it here. Like that. So what is left is for us to simplify this so that it looks simple. Okay, so 100 combination 0, we have 1, multiplying all this, so we have s cube sine s plus 50 pi. Now we come here, 100 combination 1 is 100 and uh, multiply by 3, so we have 300 so plus 300 um, x squared sine pi uh, s plus 49.5 pi plus so we get to this side the so 100 combination 2 so 100 combination 2 um, multiply by 6. Okay, so, when we punch that on the calculator, we're going to get 29700. And um, at this moment, we have x here. So, 29700x. Then, sign. So, what do we have? We have x plus. 49 pi, 49 pi plus so we can do so 100 combination 3 then multiply by 6 will give us um, 970 200 so we have some x plus 48.5 pi Alright, so we are on course. But let's see how we simplify this. Yeah, we need to remember a little bit of trigonometry. So if we have sine um, a plus b, we are told that we have sine a cos b plus um, cos b sine b. Right, so we are going to use this idea to expand this, this, this and this. So let's do this and see. So it's going to give us sine s, then cos 50 pi plus um, 
So we're going to have cos s sine 50 pi. So we try and then see what happens there. We punch cos 50 pi. So cos uh, 50 pi uh, is giving us 1. And sine 50 pi is giving us 0. So it means that this aspect, all this becomes 0. This is 1, so we have sine. Okay, so we have sine left here. So it means that when we come here, we're going to have s cube. Everything here becomes sine s. Okay. So we use the same thing to simplify this one. We have 300 here, x squared, sine, so we come here. So what to sine 49.5 meters? So we sine 49.5 pi. Okay, it's giving us negative 1. Okay, then cos 49.5 pi is giving us 0. It means that here is going to give us negative 300 x squared then um, cos s okay. so we move on plus is giving us this then let's come in so you find out um, sine s cos 49 pi so cos 49 pi and um, let's see what happens here. Cos 49 pi is uh, negative 1. Then sine 49 pi is giving us uh, uh, 0. Okay, so sine 49 pi is 0. Alright, so you can say that um, sine is giving us 0, it means that uh, cos is gone. So this page becomes uh, 29700 S then sine S. So finally we come here and um, sine S cos 48.5 pi. So cos 48.5 pi. 0.5 pi and uh, we are getting zero. It means sine is gone. Then, what about sine 48.5 pi is 1? Okay, so sine is done, and we have cos. So we have cos, we have this 0, so cos x. No, so this is negative. Alright, so we try to put the signs together and those with the cos two together. So when we come here, we have this to be S cube, the sign here. So let's see where we also have sign. We have sign here. So we have minus two nine seven zero zero and S. So all this sign S and plus nine seven zero two zero zero. And minus this one here, three hundred x squared, and uh, cos x. So this this gives us the hundred derivative of uh, this product of uh, anxious. Uh, I hope you found uh, this one very helpful, and uh, this will end today's video and. But I know you are very hard working, so let me give you one uh, to try. So find the hundredth derivative, okay? Hundredth derivative of uh, s cubed in s. So you just go through the procedure and uh, you'll be successful in it. So thanks very much and uh, catch you in the next video. Bye.